I want to go over the equity curves, drawdowns, and trading psychology for trading systems portfolios. And today there were massive gains in the stock index portfolio of approaching 30K per E-mini. And I was waiting for a 15K drawdown, and so I never got that, so I never got in. And so what's worse, I want to talk about psychology and run-ups. And so we missed a run-up at the end of... July, not in this portfolio, but in a similar portfolio where it came down here near right at a worst case drawdown and then ran up about $65,000 per E-mini. And we missed that. We missed that move. And so we're waiting for another drawdown. And we were in a 13K drawdown today. I posted the drawdown alert last night and said I would wait intraday for at least another 2K. And so to me, it's worse to miss, uh, to get in on too shallow of a drawdown and then get slammed for a worst case drawdown than to miss this run up. And so it's very frustrating to once again miss another run up, but it's even more frustrating to get in on too shallow of a drawdown and then get slammed for a worst case drawdown. So missing the run up and then getting slammed for a worst case drawdown is, is very hard. Um, no, is the first thing that's the most difficult. Second thing that's most difficult is to miss this big run up once again. So we missed the end of July run up, had a two day drawdown. And I want to go over the, that's the psychology part of it for me. But I want to go over the, um, this right here. That this is the winning percentage. And so we don't normally have, you know, five, uh, we had low winning percentages during our losing streak, down in the 30% category. Now we've had five days in a row where the average winning percentage of the last 12 days is 75%. So nine out of 12 on the last uh, five days. And so typically it cools off at this point. And so you typically wait for that drawdown. But nine out of the last 12 days, <clears throat> there's a winning streak. And you usually have more than two losing days in a losing streak. And so you get an equity peak, you go through a losing streak, Slammed equity peaks, two days of losing streak here. So it happened there. Then a 34K run up. And then we had two losing days here. And then um, once again, almost a 30K run up at the highs. And so we'll look at those today. But I wanted to share with you, there's going to be massive equity peaks in the daily, daily report. And these are the trading system signals. You can see it. 60-minute breakout up 3K. Gap continuations up 1,900. Tick reversal up on the day. Just a gap up continuation the bulls are trying to turn this bear market rally into a new bull market and defying everything that's fundamental in my opinion. And so just massive liquidity flows calling for a Fed pivot, calling for the end of inflation. And so we'll see if that happens. The signals did well trading it. And we've one of the things that we've seen in this market is um, – the smoothest uptrends we've ever seen and the choppiest downtrends we've ever seen. So I don't think there's ever been a greater divergence between downtrends and uptrends where the downtrends are choppier than ever before and the uptrends are smoother than ever before. And so some of the biggest winners and some of the longest losing streaks are in downtrends and choppy time periods. So big gains on all these strategies nearly. A momentum reversal got short, but VTNQ, the robot, Big gains today on Robot. Just got in right there, just straight up from the open on a gap continuation after what felt like, you know, three days in a row, market sold off here, fought back, sold off here, fought back, rallied, sold off here, and then ran it again. And so just a lot of effort by the bulls to just push this market higher, cause short covering, and we never get this smooth of a trend on, a, on the downside. Um this year but we do get that on an upside it's interesting that you can get such a smooth uptrend in a bear market but you can't get a smooth downtrend in a bear market so um that is um that's what we're looking at these trades are just massive gains today as the market is trading above 13300 and we've talked we talked about this a couple of weeks ago how we anticipated this um, pattern to accelerate upward but now we're in what I would consider an overbought market. You hear a lot of times when the market sells off um, half this much that's oversold. Now that's rallied this much. This momentum indicator is halfway between this momentum high and halfway between this momentum high. You see the peak right there. 
and the peak right there and it's halfway between those this indicator is halfway between those two previous peaks and so I consider this to be an extremely overbought market although no one is saying that on TV you'll hear oversold very quickly when the market is moving up and then it moves down but you won't hear anyone saying the market is overbought right here and so it is it's extremely overbought on a short-term technical basis doesn't mean it can't keep going higher things can sometimes keep going but just wanted to point that out we'll go over the daily trading system results after the market closes here in a few minutes hey david bean here welcome to capstone trading systems youtube page be sure to subscribe to join our community of algorithmic traders we are real money traders we share our winning streaks we share our losing streaks as well as market updates strategies and coding tips